Thank you so much for joining our KCC 14 Collaboration Hop, featuring our super sponsor, Love from Lizzie. Our team will be showcasing some of their amazing stamps with Kinder's Card Challenge number 14. Now here I have got um, their kit, and I'm just showing you the stamp set that came in there. And we also got this beautiful die with basket full of flowers. We got some wood cutouts that are just gorgeous. You've got some bunnies and some floral elements and such. And then we've got this little packet that just has all this good stuff in there. So we've got some little flower embellishments. And we've got some little bunny towels. We've got some um, embellishments. We have some ribbon, lots of different colors. We've got some little tags. We've got these teeny little envelopes, this little heart doily. And I can't find my circle doily. I'm kind of looking for it, and I'll find it later. Um, along with that, we also got um, some border trim here, this little white pieces, and then we've got some purple pill-offs. And you can see I've got some scrap paper that I've used before. And we've got um, a bunch of different paper. We've got some five by five card bases and some five by seven card bases. And we've got some cardstock here. We've got yellow, pink, blue, green, and a nice white piece. And what I'm gonna be doing is, um, I'm gonna be doing sketch 12, and I'm gonna be using one of the five by seven card bases. So I'm gonna be modifying this to fit a five by seven card base, which you can do. So you can just um, do your adjustments. I'm gonna use, I need a circle cutout. I'm gonna use this cutout. I'm gonna use the pattern paper and the cardstock, and I'm just gonna bring in my Cricut trimmer. And I will tell you, this paper cuts better on a guillotine. Um, and maybe any other cutter than this Cricut. It seems like this Cricut is not the greatest to cut. Anyway, so what I'm doing is right now I am creating my um, bottom layer, which is um, adjusted. I'm um, making it four and a fourth by six and a fourth. And now I've got my second layer, which is my pattern paper. And I adjusted it for the five by seven card to a four by six layer. And that's what I'm going to use for my pattern paper um, for this. And it will work very nicely with a 5x7 card. And I'm going to just have a white edge of my um, card base sticking out is, is how I'm going to do it. So we've got those trimmed down, and this is kind of how they're going to go on that 5x7 panel. And I'm just um, trimming it up a little bit. Like I said, that Cricut, I think I need a new blade in there. So I'm just... Um, checking it all out. Um, I'm going to trim up where my Cricut blade um, wasn't clean, and I just used my guillotine for that. And we'll just get those papers laid down like we want it. And I'm going to use this circle doily. This was what I was looking for in the intro. And I'm going to die cut out one of these cut aparts. And to do that, I'm bringing in my fancy stitched circle die. Um, and I'm going to just, I was making sure it would fit within that doily. And I'm just going to take it to my die cutting machine and get it die cut out and then we'll layer it upon our doily. So I'm just using my um, big scissors to just trim around this cut apart so I can salvage the rest of the paper for another project. And it is two-sided and I'll just use the circle die and just die cut this out and then we'll bring it back in and we'll lay it down on the doily. Um, I'm just kind of eyeballing it and seeing how I want everything to go. And I'm going to bring in just some fun foam and back it. I used the same die, um, but I wanted it to be a little bit smaller, so I'm just trimming it out with my scissors. And I'll just use that to pop up my floral image. Now, this floral circle is um, matches the pattern paper that I laid down on my card base um, exactly. It's just a bigger print of the flowers that are on there, and I thought it would really look pretty. I think this looks very feminine, very elegant. I really like um, the, the way this looks. Now, I'm going to bring in some of the ribbon, and I'm just going to pull the purple piece out, and I'm going to use it along with my little um, stitched circle die cut that I just made, and I'm just going to trim it down and I'm just gonna make a little loop on it and just try to cross the um, the tail of it. I'm gonna put a little knot in it just to kind of cross it over there. And then I'll have it kind of hanging out of the bottom of my stitch circle. So I'm just gonna put it on the back where I've got glue and lay it down on my doily and 
We'll just get that adhered and that'll just make a nice little addition to um, the circle. And so I'm just kind of adding that. The sketch does not call for it. Um, now I'm going to use this purple paper because I need to have a couple banners according to the um, sketch. And I'm going to keep my banners the same size. So I'm just cutting a small piece here that I can use to cut my banners out with. Um, and I want to save this purple paper as much as I can. And I'm still struggling with that Cricut trimmer. So I'm going to, for this, I'm actually going to bring in um, LV Handcrafted's uh, Easy Wonder Die one. And so that I get those beautiful stitched edges on my banners. I wanted to use that die and um, get those stitches on there. So now I'm just going to get everything laid down, get our card assembled. So let's talk about the hop while I'm doing that. Um, we really appreciate you watching and following along. And this hop, we have a playlist so that you can follow along each designer and see what they're creating with their love from Lizzie um, supplies. Um, and the link to the hop is in my description box below. So you can click on that. And if you click play all, it'll just run from one video to the next. And I'm just showing you right now how pretty that patterned paper is laying on there. But this is a giveaway hop, and you can win a digital giveaway prize from Kendra, Kendra from at Cards by Kendra. And the deadline to enter for the giveaway is April 24th, and you can enter um, on the form that is listed in my description box. And then the winner will be randomly chosen and announced on the Cards by Kendra community tab. Now you can, um, as you watch each video, you can certainly fill out the form on each designer's um, description box and then have multiple chances to win. That'll increase your chances, so you might want to do that. So we hope that you will um, you know, watch all the videos, and if you like them, give them a like and maybe a comment if you like. And um, if you haven't ever played along with Kinder's Card Challenge, I want to encourage you to do that. There are so many chances to win. That first slide that I showed you on my video showed all of the prize sponsors that are available and there's just so many prizes and so many chances to win. To play along what you need to do is download the sketch and finish 15 cards. Take a picture of all 15 cards and enter them into the appropriate album on Kendra's Card Challenge um, Facebook page and then you'll have a chance to win. Now you can ha you'll have multiple chances to win. There are chances to win um, with your 15 cards, you can win in um, April, May, and June. So you can win three times that way. And you also have chances to win the individual sketch prizes. So you can check that out on the Facebook page as well. So lots of opportunities to win. And in my opinion, everybody wins with the challenge because you get these wonderful sketches that provide you with great inspiration for making 15 cards or you know, even more because you can just um, do so many different things with them. Now, these sketches are just a jumping off point just to give you something to start with and to kind of get your creativity going. And you can certainly make them your own by tweaking them a little bit. So this finishes off this card. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I hope you win. Take care. Bye-bye.